All right, so last night I started making my shooting bench. Uh, ran out of screws in the process of making it. Um, went and picked some more up. Now I'm getting ready to slap in these last final screws. Then me and Jordan are gonna take it out and get it in place. Place, I'm gonna bury the, uh, the four by four is probably about six inches in the ground, stabilize it, and the sucker's gonna be, it's gonna be nice for a really long time. Pressure treated uh, wood, so it's not gonna rot very fast. And I think, uh, I think we might put a coat of stain or a coat of paint on it just to make it last even longer. Um, still decide, probably, probably dark stain on it. Anyways, we're about to go put it in place and then hopefully, maybe not tonight, it's about to get dark, but hopefully maybe tonight or um, sometime before this weekend, we'll put some rounds down range and uh, see how she works. All right. All right, we got the bench in place. We're about to uh, bury the legs a little bit, stabilize it in the ground. 100 yards. I figure a 100 yard bench would be pretty good. Uh, we could have set it up way back there and made a 200 yard bench, but for the majority of shooting down here in Georgia, I think a rifle of zero to 100 yards is probably plenty enough considering everything's gonna be kinda in the woods. 50 yard, maybe a 70 yard shot at the most. So 100 yards would be about perfect. We're gonna bury this thing, get it stabilized, um, and then take some test shots. So stick around. All right, so it's in. That's what it looks like in the ground. So once we're sitting down on this thing, nice and level, flat down towards the target, 100 yards down that way. This would be a nice place to get a nice solid platform. I'm trying to shake it right now, I'm barely even moving the camera. So once this dirt settles even more, get some water on it. I think once we get water on it and get all the uh, dirt packed down real nice, I don't think it's gonna go anywhere. Um, tomorrow, hopefully I'll get home from work in time. Maybe come out and take a couple shots. See how it works. Eventually, we'll build a little overhang keep us uh, out of the sun while we're shooting. It's down here in Georgia. That sun is pretty brutal. We're gonna test out this new shooting bench, 100 yards to the target. This time I'm not using the reloads. This time we're going with a little Hornady match. So if my shooting sucks this time, it could very well be me or I could still blame the scope. So. I got that escape route. All right, we're gonna get to it. I got a camera set up down there on the target. About to get the drone up in the air, get an overhead shot, and then uh, we'll put uh, three rounds down there and see where we hit. Stick around. Okay, we're waiting for Zoe to get out of the way since she doesn't have eye protection or ear protection that she didn't bring out. So she's gonna go drive around back there. We're gonna put three shots down there and um, we'll see what it turns out. All right, first round, it's high left. That was cold bore. Second shot, high left, but right next to the other one. Thank you. 
All right, so that was three shots with the Hornady match ammo. It looks like from the scope, it looks like we're uh, high into the left, but all three of those shots are right about where they needed to be. So uh, we're gonna walk down here, check it out. Can't drive because Zoa took the um, took the dang Ranger. So we're gonna head down, check it all out. See where, uh, get a better look at see where these things impacted. Um, with the ammo, it's a different grain. So that probably accounts for why the scope is shooting high into the left. Um, if I'm gonna stick with this, this uh, ammunition, at least for target shooting, I'm gonna have to adjust the scope accordingly. So let's go see where we hit. All right, three shots. High to the left. So we might go back and adjust that scope real quick, throw three more shots down range. That group should be a, a little bit closer. Should be a lot tighter than that. Um, especially with that heavy bull barrel and the uh, the Timney trigger and the Carlson, Bell and Carlson stock. Should get a lot closer than that. So let's go give it a shot. We're gonna adjust that scope and let's see what we hit. All right, so we're gonna bring this thing down. What do we say? Uh, probably go down down six clicks tighten her back up and then for this guy move this one to the right six clicks tighten her back up all right let's put three more rounds down range I'm not gonna put the drone up this time because well the battery's dying so we'll leave the drone out here on the table Put you guys back over here. Get these rounds down range. See if we can't tighten up that group. Golly, glasses are fogging up on me. Last shot. All right, let's uh, let's go down there and see where we hit. Oh, update on the bench. That dang thing's pretty dang nice. Didn't budge, didn't move. It's kind of comfortable. So, cheap build. It's probably about $25, $30 worth of lumber. A couple bucks worth of screws. A couple hours of time. A couple Bud Lights into it. And it worked out pretty great. So if you're looking to build one, check out the plans. Go to Google, type in free shooting bench plans. And it'll get you where you need to be. All right, that shot group, three shots, one, two, and three. That's about a one MOA shot group. Still not where I want to be, that little guy. If he was touching that, I would have been happy. So I went down six and right six. Right six was just about enough, but I don't know, that down, I need to come down probably another, try another six. I'm not gonna shoot another three rounds into it though. I'm gonna leave it at that for now. But 
So the last time that you guys saw a video of me shooting where the round sucked, I'm blaming it on the reloads. So, but we do have another surprise for you. This one's gonna be pretty fun. Okay, Zoe's ready to go. She's got her eye pro, her ear pro, and her target. And today, for the surprise gun that she's gonna be shooting, is gonna be the 410 pistol. So, this should be pretty fun. I'm gonna load her up, hold that. I'm gonna pop in her two rounds. Finger off the trigger, Zoe. The other trigger! Okay, remember the weapon, the uh, safety rules, right? Treat all weapons if they're loaded. Don't point anything you don't intend to shoot. All right, so now what you're gonna do, point at your target. Like this. Yep, but you gotta cock this back with one hand or with uh, your thumb. Put your other hand on it, control it. Like control your gun with both hands. Like this? Yep, now cock your hammer back. It's not staying. Okay, cock your hammer back. Okay, now point. Get ready to shoot what you want to shoot. Actually, take your finger off the trigger. Keep it pointed at that target. Step, step back. A little too close. Keep stepping back. Keep your weapon pointed down. Okay, right there. Point your target. Widen your stance. Widen your stance. Okay, both hands on. Hold it tight. And slowly it's squeeze the trigger. Going. What? Not going. Well, you gotta you got squeeze the trigger hard. It hurts my finger! Okay, both hands, though. Woo! That is kick! Watch where you're pointing at. How was it? Ow! What did you hit? Did you even aim it at your target? Let's go check it I out. I hit the head. All right, level one down range. Yep, you got it right smack dab all over the nugget. You see these little holes? Yeah. These little holes, these are your holes that you hit. That sucker. That little bad boy's got some got some noise to it. Alright, no, so it's fine. what? How many did you bring out? Just two. Where Everybody you? get behind the range. Did you have another one in there? Yep. Cock it back. Now for this time you gotta switch to your barrel. So you got two barrels, so you gotta move that over to shoot at that barrel. Ready? Where you're pointing it. That hurt. <laughs> How was it, Zoe? So, that is one hell of a little gun. Look at that little feller. That guy. It's pretty sweet. Little double barrel, 410. Anyways, the point of the video, besides shooting guns, which is always awesome and fun, uh, the point of the video was to test out that shooting bench. And the shooting bench. I'm impressed by that's pretty pretty good especially for being cheap easy to make diy i saw guys selling that stuff on the like marketplace i saw them you know the same design 250 300 you make your own for uh like i said about 30 bucks so and all i had was uh, a uh, miter saw and a screwdriver, a drill, that's it. Make your own, it's better that way. All right, we're gonna close it up, we're gonna wrap it up. Thanks for watching another episode of Activity Outdoors. Don't forget, hit that like, hit that subscribe.